AIW in supporting my cousin in divorcing his wife because she got pregnant by sperm donor without his consent? My cousin, 35M, and his wife, 36F, found out six years ago that he was not very fertile. Literally two weeks after they found out she got pregnant with his baby, he has heavily implied that he checked the paternity in secret but never outright said it. So they have a daughter. His wife wanted more kids and he does too, but the miracle wasn't happening again, they tried IVF for two years, but with no avail. So she got in her head that only option is a sperm donor. He refused but she wouldn't let it go. So he made a boundary that she is not allowed to bring it up. She went ahead and got pregnant with sperm donor anyways. Fugged up thing is, she is a psalm so she is on his insurance. So his insurance paid for it. She confessed it all to him and he went mental, and threw some things, not at her, and police was called probably by a neighbor, not sure, but definitely not by his wife. He was not arrested because she told them he didn't touch her but he was advised to go somewhere else for the night. He went back to his parents. He has not returned or even talked to her. She has been withholding his daughter from him, officially because of his violent outburst but what she really wants is for him to come home. He is refusing. He has filed petition for divorce in court and for custody. He will probably get custody but it's gonna be a long process. His wife tried to tell him, through friends, that she wants him to have his daughter but he needs to agree to therapy with her so that she knows she will be alright with him. She is also saying that she is sorry and to not give up on his family for her mistake. My cousin refuses to even talk to anyone who tries to play messenger for his wife. His parents are genuinely distressed because she is also withholding their grandchild and telling him to rethink things. He is not budging. I personally had my ex leave state when she was pregnant and I still got custody by just moving to that state. He is in a way better position legally and she can't just take his daughter away if he just listened to his lawyer. So I think parents' fears are unfounded. I talked to him on the phone and he told me that he would rather lose his daughter than negotiate or talk to his wife in any way. I can't help but be impressed by his mutual destruction strategy. Problem is, I am the only one who thinks he is right, fully. People are on his side but they want him to come to the table and talk things through, he says there is nothing to talk about. 